need to speak to him because he's talking about moving away from Aylesbury and I don't think it's a good move. It just feels like deja vu. It's deja vu. Deja vu. Deja vu. We haven't got time for that, Johnny. It's deja vu, Barry. Don't, we haven't got time for that, mate. Well, that's it, I'm off to Columbia. Whoa! Definitely. G-Dog, sit down, let's talk about this. Well, my remote's fucked, I'm aboard. That's it, I'm off. Yeah, no, I've got to go, mate. We think you should stay in Aylesbury. Look, if you haven't got kids, or if you're not tied down to it, if well, you just get some kids. Hey? Uh, what's There's loads of them. I see them every day Columbia, when I'm yeah. going to work. You give me one hour, G-Dog, in town. Give us one hour. Yeah, at least give us Try that. and convince you to stay in okay. this town. All right, one hour. And if we haven't convinced you in one hour, then, yeah, you go to Columbia. You do what you want. You fly away free bird. Right. If you're not convinced, we'll pay I'm for that ticket. I've spent eight years building a prison for myself. It's perfect here. I've got my dartboard. I've got my photos up on the wall. With, like, nice new furnishing and everything. All right, that's the deal. High five. High five that shit. Woo! Oh, yeah. If anyone convinces me to stay in Aylesbury on this windy, grey day, then, uh, yeah, sweet. I'm all ears. I'm having a coffee. <coughs> We're in the bell. Yes. That's what we did for the last... When, when did this open? I've been doing this for eight years. The bell. Oh, no, I've been doing it for about 21 years, so if you count, it if you count, good? If you count the original bell, not before, before Weatherspoons, yeah. then I've been doing this for about 20-odd years, so, yeah. See that sign? Wow, that sign, I've never noticed that before. Breaking the law. I'm going to stay. Has that changed your mind? Have a little drink, feel a bit better, clear the air, clear your head a little bit? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I always like going out and having a drink with you boys, but I, yeah, it's not changed my mind about Ellsbury. Ellsbury's still shit, and I, I just don't think it's the place for me to. Tell you what, I, mate. Think, I, I think I'll, I'm better suited elsewhere. That's all. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you what, mate. I'm gonna... You all right? Yeah, not bad. Thanks. What are you doing? Uh, just watching Sunday brunch. Sunday brunch. Well, I told you I'd be back. Oh, I got a little. Oh, you got your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mate, I've uh, prepared a little film to hopefully, maybe, well, watch it and see what you think. This might persuade you to stay, might not. Okay, yeah, cool. Whack, whack it in the Mac. Whack it in the Mac. Can I whack it in the Mac? Whack it in the Mac. Whack a Mac. How'd you press play? Oh, no. Here we go. It's like this model's got a disk drive, most of them don't. Mm. So, you've decided to leave Owlsbury. Let's take a look at the pros and the cons. I'm Bartholomew Reese Wax. And I'm Johnny Ellsbury in it, Ribena. I'm going to be showing you the real Owlsbury. And I'm going to be looking at it like a first timer. So please join us on this journey. An in-depth exploration. So let's begin. Here it is, the old courthouse. <laughs> and there's a fact, not a lot of people knew about this place. If you take a look up there, there used to be a balcony and people used to be hung by the neck, children, women and young men, until they were dead. It's true, isn't it? It is true, yeah. Thank you. New visitors are advised to head straight up the town to the welcoming open arms of the Tourist Visitor Centre. I'm on my way there now. Evening! If there's one thing this town knows how to celebrate, and that's Christmas, and that's no mistake. Oh, Check out this beauty. Originally one of Owlsbury's uh. oldest streets, this is Owlsbury High Street. And every year at Christmas, they go all out with the lights. And I think you'll agree with me, they're a sight to behold. As I make my way through Ellsbury's picturesque market, ma market, I come across the old market ta- Oh, fucking hell. King's Head Tourist Information Centre. This is not there anymore. Hiya! Ellsbury's such a friendly town. Let's wander through and talk to some of the locals. The talk of the town these days is about the juxtaposition of brand new statues and brand new developments alongside the old historicals. So what do you think about the new statues in the exchange? Yeah, some friends of mine, they liked them. They, they, they spent a, a, a half an hour doing, posing in as many rude positions as they could with those statues. And they were sober doing it as well. <laughs> so they are enjoying the statues? Yeah, they're good fun, I think. Here's the 
It's said that Aylesbury is a very, very friendly town. Probably one of the friendliest in the southeast of England. Let's talk to a few of the residents now and find out just how friendly they are. Excuse me, sir. Can I, have you lived in Aylesbury? Oh, God, mate, you God. want to go to a different town. Oh. <laughs> Marion, how long have you lived in the town for? Uh, all my life, really. All your life, and is that a few years now? Yeah. I expect you've noticed a lot of changes in this town. Would you say it's growing as a town, becoming better or same or...? It's getting worse. All the shops are closed in the town. Ah, oh, that's better. I found out everything I needed to know about Ellsbury at the Travel Information Centre. A music town, a garden town, a place to grow. And what's this? Why, it's David Bowie's birthplace, number 38, Ellsbury Street. He's not in, of course. <laughs> because he's dead. He's here, across the road. The many incarnations of David Bowie. Diggy Marley. Alvin Stardust. The Thin White Duke. Christopher Walken. The Rat-Faced Boy from Mars. Mick Jagger! Uh, somebody was moving here that you knew from another town. What was the first bit of advice you'd give them moving to Aylesbury? Uh, keep yourself to yourself. Keep yourself to yourself. And that's a good bit of advice for anyone moving to this town. Keep yourself to yourself, talk shit, get hit in Aylesbury. Mind your own business. Mind your own fucking business in Aylesbury. That's what this man says. Step into adventure, the sign said. Statues are bound to be around here somewhere. A map! They've thought of everything, and I'm glad they have. The exchange can be quite a daunting proposition for a first time visitor. Let's have a look and see what we can find. Um, you've got, you can walk to the shops, get there within five minutes, everything you possibly need on your doorstep. If you could be bothered to take the car out, you've got all the supermarkets you could possibly shake a stick at. Uh, That's true. I finally found the floating forceps baby and as I stared upon its gawping face I pondered my own life choices. One step closer to the icy embrace of death. Oblivion, nothingness, the end! And who's this little fella? What's he up to? Is he a thinker or a doer? Judging by the state of his back end, he's a doer. What a party pooper. Uh. I think too much, I think too much My heart comes back to my old hometown When I look across the water I see Asbury and the beauty of the people that live there I look across the water Karen's going to give us a little bit of the history of the town, what this used to look like before we had this, an unworking this. clock and an unworking fountain. Karen, what did this used to be like here? It was good. Yeah. We used to have toilets here, we used to go underground. It was good, you had a phone box, blah, blah, blah. They put this monstrosity thing here, it didn't even work. Look at it. Garbage. Even a stopped clock tells the right time twice a day. And here's one the residents of Aylesbury can be proud of. John Hamden, when he came through the town in 1786, was appalled that most of the residents in Aylesbury didn't know whether it was morning, noon or evening. So he placed the clock here so they'd always know how to tell the time. A lot of the residents of Aylesbury for a number of years didn't even know how to read the dials and they just used to look at the sun shining on the clock and use it as a large sundial. We thank you John Hamden for the Aylesbury Market Square clock. I'm on my way to see a legend. He's around here somewhere. There he is. Ronnie Barkers. Born and bred in Ellsbury, of course. But what's he looking at? What are you doing, old pedo? Walton Court Shopping Centre. Lucas World of Furniture. The county offices. It's none of those. It's Ellsbury World to say Theatre. When is a cash machine not a cash machine? That's when it's this one. This cash machine in this Barclays Bank in Aylesbury was one of the first cash machines in the country. Originally opened in 1962 by Reg Varney of On The Buses fame, this was one of the first out of the wall cash machines in the UK. And that's here in this hometown of Aylesbury. That is the end of part one. What do you think? I think it's fucking ridiculous. What? What do you mean ridiculous? Well, that, that none of the things were true. Um, yes, it was. David Bowie statue there. You got Ronnie Barker. <laughs> there is a statue there, but uh, it doesn't matter. Well, what's not true? Uh, the first cash point was in London somewhere, in Enfield or something. Oh. Uh, and no one got hung at the court. They did. 
Uh, that guy said it. It doesn't matter, Barry. There's, there's no part two, there's no videos. please. Wait for part there's two. There's nothing about Ellsbury I don't already know. Yeah, but, but part two will have more of the Chilterns and nightlife and stuff like that. Oh, God. I've been here 40 years, Barry, and I'm... I'm uh, part two, If, if I was going to like it, I'd, I'd like it by now. You know Just stay right? four more months, please. I'll get it done in four to five months. So I've hung around for a year to watch stupid videos. Now, fuck that. You enjoyed Four months. Nah, bollocks. I'm off. See you later, Baz. Well, you're not going anywhere. Why well, are you just going to the kitchen? <laughs> Weirdo. My skateboard's out of here. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs>